Hey guys, we're back here with the latest update on Project Opal GT from AMT in 125th scale. Got a lot of work done today, did quite a bit of uh, detail painting. And uh, right now I am uh, stopping with the painting for tonight and now I'm unwrapping and moving the masks. So I figured uh, I'd let you guys come along for the ride so we can see what the... Uh, and results like right now I'm unwrapping the uh, rear axle make sure that we're all here on the camera here unwrapping the rear axle um, which I just finished painting have it wrapped with uh, blue tack well it's not blue tack but it's uh, what is it that I use to help me with uh, masking. Oh, Omer's Tack and Stick. Reusable adhesive. It works really great for masking off stuff. As you can see, I used it here. Am I on the camera? Let me see. You can see I used it here to mask off the rear differential and all of its structure while I'm painting. So, let me just shut up and let me just, as soon as I can get all of this tape and everything off my hands, let's keep unwrapping it and see what we got. Are you over 40 and struggling to lose weight? Most people have no idea this method exists. They think the only way to lose...
all right guys here we go here we have our finished result this is the rear axle differential with the exhaust system if I choose to use this exhaust system you can see I have uh, still a little bit of the blue tech to get off there but that's all right you can see I've done my uh, heat discolored exhaust that I love to do on all my all my builds it's really a fun process I've been asked uh, how it is exactly that I do this and I have I'll put a link to the video in which I show it I tried to uh, video it previously on another build and that video went totally bad so uh, but one of my builds my v8 engine build the v8 engine mini build I go in depth as to exactly how and demonstrate how I perform this method of uh, discoloration of the metal. So I'm very happy with the way this came out. I'm gonna do probably a little bit of chipping and weathering on the uh, axle. As you can see where the shadows are added and the heat discoloration is added that changes the uh, color of the metal so it gives it a really metallic look and you can see how it highlights and adds all the shadows and I haven't even used a, to me a panel Horizon liner yet which is uh, something that I also enjoy using like 5G from America's most reliable network, all right our best let's go on and see plans, what else we've gotten done today here we got the interior as I've decided well I haven't decided but I let my uh, better half choose the colors for this car and she her favorite color is blue so that's why I decided that this car is gonna be blue and she wanted a white interior so we're gonna have a white and blue interior all the colors that she picks out Here we have the seats. After all the uh, repair work, which I did, smoothing out all the seams, eliminating all the hard edges that it had, which looked very unrealistic, the seats are looking 100% better now. And here we have the other seat. It's all in the prep work. Still see a little bit of the injection pin mark, which won't really be that noticeable when it's in when the car, when everything's together, as they were really bad before. But now I'm okay with leaving them that way. Okay, what else did we get done today? Let's take a look at this. Here we have the sport exhaust. As you can see, I've also done the heat discoloration on it really happy and really glad with the way this came out I haven't decided whether I'm using that exhaust or the stock exhaust but this one here I'm particularly happy with really takes on the look of real metal with this paint application So I think I'm probably going to go with the sport exhaust. And let's see. Here we have the dashboard. It's going to be all in white. And we're going to have wood trim on the interior. If I can pull off the wood trim paint application that I'm going to try on this. Don't know if I can make it work, but I'm going to give it a shot. There's a steering wheel, we have the metal spokes, and we're gonna, it's going to have the wood rim, if I can get this right. But I'm very happy with the metal paint app. Really gives it a, a nice realistic look. And now, for the reveal of the color. This is Coral Blue 
from Tamiya. I have just applied it. Hasn't been smoothed out yet. Hasn't been polished yet. But this is going to be the color of the vehicle. I've decided that I'm going to go with a painted underbody. And I'm just going to highlight all of the components that get attached to it. As this car is going to be uh, as if it was someone's custom restoration. Now if you've noticed there is a slight color difference between the painted body section. I don't know how well it appears on the camera. You can see it close up that the color here is just a little bit brighter than the color here. As if when a real car is done, even when the chassis is painted, it's not polished or brought to a high luster the way the bodywork is. So I want so there's always a slight difference in the color between the painted bodywork and the between the painted prepped and polished bodywork and wow any of the other bodywork. Hold on, just had a little mishap with the camera here. Very happy with the way this color is coming out. And on the body, we got as far as just doing a little semi-gloss black onto the windshield cowling. So we got that taken care of. And now we come back to the engine. There was one part of the engine that really bugged me. Which is the pulleys on the crank. The uh, alternator and the smart pump. So I had to do a little something about that. And I added photo etch parts from a uh, metal earth kit. Which were perfect for this application. And as you can tell, the uh, I've also added a little more of a paint app to the oil filter. This is a Fram oil filter. And they are orange with a black, uh, flat black bottom for gripping oil filters. You're turning it. I may be adding other details to the engine as I go along, but I'm really kind of happy with the way it's looking now. And I'm really happy with those pulleys. A detail no one but me will probably ever notice. All right, guys, that's it. That's the current update. And uh, this project is moving along now. So I guess we will see you on the next one. I know I said in the last video that it'd be the chassis work would be started, but uh, with all the paint painting that I'm doing here and the chassis is going to be a bit of a complicated paint as there are going to be quite a few colors in quite a few different places. It took a little longer than I thought, so didn't get a chance to uh, get as far along on the chassis, but I did get a lot of the paint work done. And also got a chance to upgrade the engine a little bit. So there we go guys. Keep following along as this uh, build is going very well. I'm very happy with the way it's turning out and uh, hope you guys like it too. And if you do, just remember, give me a like and if you haven't subscribed, don't miss an episode and uh, give me a thumbs up also. I mean, that always helps from what I hear. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.